Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm back to do another pour, but I wanted to tell you guys some exciting news. Look what I got. I got a microphone. So I've had, you know, a few people, um, not very many, but the odd occasional random person will message me or put a comment on one of my videos and says, oh, I love your video, but I couldn't hear you. Um, so I'm not really sure why most people can hear me and other people can't. So um, I figured I would go on Amazon and invest in a microphone. So I tested it out. Um, I just did like a test of a one minute clip and you know played it back. And there really was actually um, a difference between just talking on my phone and then plugging in this mic and then using the microphone. So I hope it's um, much clearer for you guys to hear me now. And um, for those of you who couldn't hear me before, I hope you can hear me now. It's like that, what is it, Verizon? Can you hear me now? You know, that commercial? Anywho. So anyways, I'm really excited to have this microphone and I hope it works out really well because it'll suck if it doesn't, but I think it's okay. So that being said, I'm gonna move you guys down and I'll tell you guys what I'm up to. All right. So, as you can see here, I have two six by six canvases and I am, I'm gonna try again um, one of Fiona's um, flower dips. Uh, actually, this one's gonna be a spiral. So I figured, I, I tried her dip last time um, where I put all the flower dip and then I can't remember what video number it was. It's probably about 10, 15 videos ago. You can't miss it. Um, with a black background. Um, actually, I'll put it up in the, I'll put it up here and then you'll be able to click on it. But anywho, then I did the saran wrap and then I peeled it off and um, it didn't turn out at all what it was supposed to look like, um, but it did end up being a pretty cool piece and I still have it here. It needs a coat of resin, but um, it actually turned out really neat. Now my lighting down here sucks big time because I have horrible pot lights. However, once I get a coat of varnish on this, um, sorry, a coat of resin, it'll really bring out the colors and make it pop. So that being said, what else do I have to show you? Do I have anything else? I got a few pieces, but see the problem with this microphone is now I'm attached to the phone. I can't really walk away. So I'll just show you guys some pieces another time. So let's get started. So this time I'm gonna do a dip. So I'm gonna do her spiral and then I'm gonna take this and dip on top and hope to God it works. So I thought I'd you know, start small and try it on a small canvas. I don't wanna mess with really big canvases if, in case it doesn't work. So. I have my um, white here. It's just Floetrol and Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White. There's no water in this. So I'm just going to flood this. Now before I got started, I actually mixed um, a bunch of white. It's always nice to have a bunch of white already pre-mixed because um, it just makes life easier when you want to do a pour and everything's already done. And I find that if you mix your paints um, and then you let them sit for a few days, it actually, um, for me at least, I find I get better pours that way. I Sometimes I feel if I have just freshly mixed paints, um, it doesn't give them a chance to settle if that even makes sense. But I have found I, I, my pores aren't as nice or they don't turn out the way I want them to um, when I've just freshly poured or mixed my paints. All right, so the colors I'm gonna use tonight, I'm gonna start from the darkest and then work my way in. So I'll start with um, Dioxazine Purple by Liquitex Basics and then I will do um, Prism Violet by Liquitex Basics. I have Greenish Blue by Amsterdam. 
And then I have Brilliant Blue by Liquitex Basics and Bright Aqua Green by Liquitex Basics. And finally, I'm gonna do a little bit of my favorite color, the Anti Copper by Folk Art. If you wanna know how I mix um, the ratios in my squeeze bottles, please check out video number 63. Again, it should pop up at the top there for you guys. Um, all right, so here goes nothing. Let's get started and hope for the best. So, <laughs> all right, where should I start? In the center and work my way out, I guess. I don't even know what I'm doing. But I said I would try it again, so I'm gonna try it again. Now, I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but if it doesn't turn out that great, at least I know I can just scrape it and try again because we all know that if I don't like something, I just scrape it. All right, now it's sinking. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but moving along, we'll go with the next color. This is my violet. All right. Now, if you saw the previous video to this one, I did a big um, 24 inch round and I'm debating whether I should turn it into a clock or a table or just leave it as is. Um, I did a poll on my community tab um, on YouTube. I haven't checked it lately, but last I checked, the table was winning, but I don't know, man. I, I think it would look very classy if I turned it into a clock. Like, I, I wouldn't add numbers or anything to it. Um, wow, this spiral is just getting worse and worse. Um, my colors are really sinking in there. It's really strange. All right. So anyways, um, there'll be no numbers on the clock. So it's just gonna be the clock hands. You know, some people were saying, oh, it'd be a shame. Uh, I lost my, uh, it would be a shame if you, you know, covered up the paint, the pretty design with clock hands. But then I thought, well, if I turn it into a table and then someone puts like coffee cups or coasters or anything like that on it, you're kind of already covering it up anyway too, right? So I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I have some really big clock hands that my um, awesome brother bought for me and I'd like to use them. So, whoa. All right, last color. I, I think this is way too much paint, but I don't know at this point. Did I use all the colors? I did, right? I think so. Did I? Did I use my greenish blue? I don't even remember what I did, guys. Guess I won't know unless I check the video, but anywho. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... I'll use this because it's almost empty. I'm just going to take some white and just do the edges here. I won't, I won't do the center, but just to add some white, I won't do it over that just in case, but. All right, get my edges, make a mess, cause you know, that's what I love to do. All right, I guess I might as well just do all that. Why not? Oh, look, there's gunk in there. Get that out. All right, here goes nothing. Oh, do I even need to torch this? Maybe I should. Not sure why, but I see a lot of, lots of air bubbles. So, all right, guys. Uh, let's see what happens. So I'm gonna place it on top, 
oh gosh, it's like slippery. Oh, it's just oozing out, but boy, oh boy, are those colors so nice. You can't see it, but it's, wow. Okay, so I watched Fiona many, many times, and oh my God, it's like a slippery steak. So I saw her go in circles, so I'm going to go in circles, and I'm going to gently... Wow, it's really hard to keep this thing together. See, the cool thing is, the paint that's oozing out is falling on the bottom, but this side won't have any paint touching, colored paint, I mean, touching. All right. I really hope this turns out. Because I want to get one of these Fiona pores done right. Clearly my saran wrap attempt did not work. So, all right, this thing is like sliding everywhere. So maybe I'll just hold it down a bit. Okay. I don't know what's going on in between these canvases, but we're about to find out together. All right, so the key is to lift it really, really slowly and evenly. So let's see what happens. Oh man, I can see the colors oozing out. Oh, shoot. <gasps> what? Okay, so the problem is there's so much paint on here. So you know what I'm going to do? I think I'm going to get another canvas. Wow, this one looks cool. This has a ton of paint on it. Uh, let me grab another canvas, if I can even reach it, because I'm attached with a cord. All right. Oh, I can reach it. I'm good. Wow, look at that. Okay, there's some, like, a lot of paint on there. So, okay, so, new canvas. I'm going to dip on top of that. This one is stunning. This is perfect. I can't believe that. That is so pretty. But this has, like, serious blob of paint in there. And if I leave it like this, it's just going to dry and crack. So, um, should I put white? No, I think there's so much paint in here, it's not even gonna matter. Maybe it will, I don't know. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab a business card. That's my business card. Pretty neat, eh? Doo -doo. Anyways, and I'm gonna slide it out, because all the paint is pooling here in the middle. So what I'm gonna do is, problem is this card's not hard enough. What can I use piece of cardboard? Oh, all right. Oops, sorry guys, I'm a mess. All right, so let's use this, see if I can make this harder than, there we go, that should work. Oh yeah, it's oozing out. You know what I should have done is flipped it the other way around. Oh well. Oh yeah, I can totally feel it's easier with my fingers. Oops, I'm shaking the camera. Sorry, guys. All right. I can totally feel how much paint is still on here. Sorry, guys. I can totally see the camera moving there. All right, almost done. All right, moment of truth here. Let's see 
what happened to this one now? <laughs> Disaster. So clearly you cannot double dip, I guess, or you know what? I probably just smushed it so bad that I just totally messed up all the colors. But on the bright side, I have one that worked. I should have left this one alone, but I couldn't. Like, I mean, it was just, it was big, big pool of paint right in the middle. But that's fine because you know what? I'm just going to scrape it off and at least I have um, one good piece, which I'm actually really happy with. So I'll deal with these guys later. Put them over there. And... But this pretty guy, this one's so pretty. I'm gonna torch it and see if any cells come up, which there are, which is really pretty. All right, so what I'm gonna do um, is just take some white and I will go around the edges like this and make sure that um, all my edges have a nice coating of white. Like this. So I won't do the rest, I won't bore you, but let me bring it up so you can see what it looks like up close. It's actually super pretty. I'm. This is actually exciting, I like this. What do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think about this one. It's unfortunate I, the other one didn't work out. Clearly I had way too much paint going on. But what do you guys think about this one? I think this one's pretty. All right, so that's that. My second attempt, or well, my first attempt at a dip, but my second attempt trying um, a Fiona piece. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And if you're a new watcher, please hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell, which I have right here, a bell. <laughs> don't forget to hit that bell, guys. That way, every time I upload a new video, you get notified and then you know when I put up a video. And then um, that's it. So thanks very much, guys. All my information is in the description below. Um, social media links, my PayPal link for anyone who would like to donate. Um, and it helps me buy supplies so that I can continue doing what I'm doing. Um, everything is very much appreciated. Thank you very much, guys. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Take care. Bye.